Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. So we have MIUI Pro, Xiaomi EU and a few more custom ROMs which are based on MIUI. Today we are going to talk about a new ROM which is MIUI.ms. Yes, this ROM is based on MIUI and it was notified to me by one of the subscribers and we will install this ROM, it is free and we will have a look at the features and how different it is compared to EU and a few other MIUI based ROMs. Now before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to have a look at a new ROM which is based on MIUI as I said in one of my previous videos. In this video we'll have a look at MIUI MS which is uh, sort of a new ROM. You see that it just has around 17 subscribers on Telegram and this over here is the complete change log and the features and the things that are included in this ROM. Uh, it does also mention how to flash the ROM and if there is any error, what do you do about that. So more or less this is a MIUI based ROM. I believe it might be based on MIUI beta. But nonetheless, we are going to quickly install it. Right now we are on Revolution OS, but uh, we will move to MIUI.ms. We just need to flash the latest vendor and the ROM and we should be good to go. And first things first, what you need to do is you need to have an unlocked bootloader. Make sure you have more than 50% battery and make sure you've backed up all your data and TWRP should be installed. So once you have those prerequisites taken care of, you can copy the ROM file, the vendor file that is the firmware and you can go ahead and copy the Magisk with DFE if you want root. Now once that is taken care of, all you need to do is power the device off and boot into TWRP. So let's go to recovery mode over here and wait for the phone to boot up into TWRP recovery. All right, once we are in TWRP recovery, we will go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data, swipe to wipe. And then we will go to the main screen, go to install, select the vendor file, add more zips and select MIUI MS. This is the one and select add more zips and select the DFE if you want. I won't be flashing the DFE over here. Now swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so a couple of things that I noticed in the installation of this ROM, it does install Magisk by default. So DFE should not be a problem for you if you don't flash it. And it does say after the installation is complete, device may reboot two times. So let's go ahead and reboot system and select do not install. Now wait for the phone to boot up. We will just quickly have a look at the boot animation of this wonderful ROM and what different does it bring to the table compared to other ROMs like Xiaomi EU, MIUI Pro and Revolution OS. All right, so this ROM did take a while to boot up and I do see that it is sort of Russian over here. So let's select English US as a preferred language and skip through the setup menu. Okay, one good thing in the setup menu of this particular ROM is in the setup menu itself, it asks you if you want to use gestures or you want to use buttons. So that is a good thing. Okay, it says setup complete, swipe to enter system. This is sort of like Apple. Agree to turn on location, yes. Okay, now first impressions, this looks a little different. Uh, so we have app vault to the left, which is definitely different compared to other MIUI ROMs. And what I'm seeing over here is this is sort of a very, very highly debloated version of MIUI, something like Xiaomi EU. Now we do have weather, gallery and all the basic applications and basic, basic things over here. So you have the MI account over here and if you go to my device, you have uh, sort of a old sort of a beta sort of a look over here wherein you get all the specifications of the phone and stuff like that. Now apart from that, you have SIM cards and mobile networks. Um, nothing special over here you can actually if you go to sim cards and mobile network you can select the time available for selecting the default sim card to make a call if you're confused between the two wireless lan 
and it's it so nothing nothing new over here as well but if we go to more you have connection timer settings you have smart network settings you can reset wireless LAN mobile and Bluetooth that is another neat addition and if you go to display so system font text size and notch and status bar okay so the thing over here is notification style near clock two rows dual status bar okay so this is some customization that as of now i have not seen in other custom roms which are based on miui you can customize a lot of things in the status bar over here so a full review of this one will be very very interesting sound and vibration do we have anything extra over here as well you do have additional settings for additional sounds so that is very very neat and ambient display okay double tap screen to wake double tap screen to lock smart cover mode so the thing here is the settings menu is completely from the ground up reorganized things are here and there if you're used to the usual miui sort of a thing you will be a little confused as to where is this option or where is that option but mostly this is a very very good thing instead of being a bad thing now it does say ambient display and lock screen over here lock screen clock format yes you have that as well okay passwords and security face unlock and all the other things battery and security status okay additional settings your button shortcuts notification lights so all the basic things over here screen time so digital well-being is there special features this is basically okay game turbo quick and miui lab is also there all right so almost all the features just like other custom roms are there and from the first impression it feels very very snappy say even if we go to the camera now you don't have the dynamic shot and all the other options say let's go to settings over here have they changed anything okay so the only thing that this rom is lacking compared to uh, revolution os is the camera features which are available in beta but all in all i feel this is a very very deep bloated and worth a try sort of a rom and it it is working very very fine very very smooth and i believe the ram management and the battery life might be better on this because this is a very very deep bloated version so you know that was the first look install and review of miui.ms let me know in the comment section how much would you rate this rom out of 10 please hit like to this video if you really really liked it because it takes a lot of effort and it helps the channel and it doesn't cost you anything so until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care Goodbye.